everyone, and welcome to today's DataVox webinar, Get Back to Work and Kick Your Aging PBX to the Curb with ACO, presented by Avaya. My name is Jessica, and I will be your moderator today. We are broadcasting this webinar through Cisco WebEx events, and the audio can be heard through your PC or by calling into the phone number listed and with the access code provided in your confirmation email or calendar invite for this event. Today's webinar is being recorded on behalf of DataVox and participation in this event indicates your consent to being included in that recording. All attendees will receive an email with a link to the completed recording 24 to 48 hours post-event. If you have questions for the presenters at any time during this presentation, you may submit those questions via the Q&A feature to the right of your screen. This should already be turned on. Simply click Q&A and the text box will appear. Our panel will be responding to these questions throughout the presentation via text and verbally at the conclusion of the presentation. If you are in need of support or have a question not pertaining to today's topic, please utilize the chat feature and I will be happy to assist you. This feature is separate from the Q&A feature and can be turned on by clicking the chat bubble in the lower center of your screen. Now that we have reviewed the features of this webinar, we would like to start off today's presentation with a few words from our VP of Managed Services, David Wilson. David, the floor is yours. Thank you, Jessica. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. You know, I do think that one thing that a lot of people have learned from this whole pandemic situation is that their old on-premise phone system is not really not cutting it. And maybe it's finally time to look at a cloud voice solution. So, so I'm very pleased today to have a team from one of our oldest partners with us today, Avaya, uh, to tell us more about their exciting new cloud offering, Avaya Cloud Office or ACO. So with that, I'm going to hand over to Steve Forkham to tell us a bit more about it. Over to you, Steve. Thanks, David. Yeah, let me share my screen really quick, and I'll walk you through uh, really what makes this solution so unique. So, you know, back in September of last year, um, Avaya announced a partnership with Ring Central, which really caught a lot of attention, including my own as an Avaya employee, because Ring Central is a competitor. And what were we doing? And this is really um, a first of its kind in our industry. You know, two competitors coming together to create a solution that really is unlike anything that's come before it in the marketplace. And it, we really think that it fits all of the um, needs that our customers face when they consider this move to the cloud. Mix in, as David points out, a pandemic, and all of a sudden everybody needs to work remotely. And that's exposed a whole new set of realities for a lot of our customers that um, work has changed. And the question then becomes, has the PBX kept up with that change? And a lot of times the answer is really no. So the cloud-based solution has perfect timing. I mean, via Cloud Office, we just went live with this solution on March 31st, pretty much right around the time everybody stopped traveling. And we've really seen a ton of interest in, our, uh, in the solution by our customer base looking to rapidly set up their uh, workers to be able to work uh, from home. So the question really becomes when you think about a cloud-based solution, well, what's the purpose of this? Why am I, you know, looking at cloud? What's the overreaching theme? And more specifically, what was it that Avaya and Ring Central were looking to solve? What problem were we looking to solve when we came together to create this cloud-based solution? And I think the easiest way to answer that question is with a single word, email. You know, all of us wrestle with email boxes that are just overstuffed. And the reason for that is because email has become the default communications channel for pretty much everybody on the planet. And it's because it's easy. You know, email is simple. One user has one email address that synchronizes across all of your devices. Inbound emails just magically show up on your phone, your iPad, your computer. When you send an email address, the user, to, the recipient doesn't know what device you use to send the email. Um, they just see your email address. So when they reply back, it comes back through that same path. And you can start an email on one device, save it to your drafts. So maybe you start an email on your cell phone, you save it to the drafts. And when you get back to the office, you finish typing it up on your computer. But voice, and more specifically, collaboration was never that easy. You know, when you think about voice, every device that we use, our mobile phones, our tablets, uh, you know, our computers, our desk phones, they all have different phone numbers. They all have different capabilities. 
So if I want to have a, a long conversation on a speaker, I'm going to use my desk phone because it's got a great speaker and it's not uh, dependent on a battery. If I need to be on the go, I'm going to use my cell phone. Or if I need to send somebody a text message, I can only use my cell phone. That disjointed experience creates complexity. It slows down today's workforce. And at the end of the day, it can actually cost you a ton of money as an organization to support this disjointed environment. So what we've done is we've taken the email model and applied it to collaboration with Avaya Cloud Office to make something that is super, super easy to use. You know, the devices that we use today are different than what we used to. You know, you don't simply sit at a desk and use a desk phone to communicate anymore. Every user carries a batch of different devices with them. Work is no longer somewhere we go, it's something that we do. That's never been uh, illustrated better than this pandemic situation. And we need a solution that's built around those realities. I need to use whatever device I have, no matter what network it's connected to, what I, no matter what location I happen to be at, to be reachable, to communicate, and to collaborate. And Avaya Cloud Office does that. Every user has a single phone number, just like you have a single email address. Your conversations are synchronized across all of your devices. So incoming calls will ring on all of the devices you're logged in with. You can start a call on one device, and just like with email, you can save it to your drafts. You can start a call on one device and then flip it to a different device. So let's say it's you know not a pandemic situation. You're in the office, it's 4.50, and you've taken a call on your headset on your computer. This is a really important call that you've got to make sure you see all the way through. But you also have to get home to pick the kids up from practice, so you've got to leave the office on time. Well, no sweat. You simply flip the call from your computer to, say, your desk phone, if it's going to be short, or maybe your cell phone, if this conversation is going to bleed into your commute. You pack up, you get on the go, and nobody knows that you've done this because we're using voice over IP for all of your connections. And what that means is the call flip is instant and the audio quality is the same. It's all HD audio, so there's no, there's no clicks, there's no drops in audio, there's no nothing portability across all of your devices, even mid-conversation. And we streamline down the amount of overhead it takes to manage the solution because instead of having a different voicemail box for your cell phone and your office phone, every call that you don't answer goes to your corporate voicemail where you have a whole host of uh, functionality, including voicemail to email, speech to text transcriptions, um, you can forward messages to other users, and it simplifies your life. So it's designed for the way that we work, but it's designed for so much more than that. It's not just about the device that you use and the network it's connected to. It's also about how we communicate. You know, a lot of times communication is silent in today's world. We don't just pick up the phone and call people anymore. We start with text messaging, and we start with instant messaging, and we start with other forms of communications. And we want to adopt that same simplicity, not just with a phone call, but with all of the ways that we communicate. So with a via cloud office, your one phone number makes you reachable by voice, but it also makes you reachable by text messaging. So you can send and receive text messages from your office phone number. And it also gives you the ability to integrate with a messaging platform that takes the work out of getting work done. When you need to share files with other users in your organization, you can use this tool to send it to them. No more burrowing through your Dropbox, no more digging through your uh, on, online storage like Office 365 to try and find the right version of that file. It's embedded into the same app that you use to communicate and to collaborate. And just like your calls are synchronized across all of your devices, so are your conversations. So if you start a text message using the Avaya app on your mobile phone and you get back to the office, you can continue that text messaging conversation from your computer with a full keyboard and mouse. It looks like you're using your cell phone, but you're not. So it creates separation between your personal usage and your professional usage. It creates that synchronization across all of your devices. And if somebody leaves your organization, their phone number can be reused, including all of the different channels 
with their replacement. So your customers are still calling the same number. They're still reaching your organization, not the person that potentially left your org. And one last point to make, you can use your one number not just for texting and not just for calling, but you can also use it for faxing. There are a million organizations out there that still use fax. You get unlimited inbound and outbound faxing per user with a via cloud office. You can send messages from any device, and incoming calls are automatically intercepted in the cloud and dropped right into your fax box. You're not going to answer a call and hear this thing squealing in your ear and have to try and remember how to, you know, transfer it to the none of that. So it's easy to use for whatever device you're on. It synchronizes across all of the channels that you use, but it also addresses another key challenge. You know, when users come into an organization, they typically are given a computer and a cell phone as a minimum. But there's something else that has been exposed by this whole pandemic situation as a required tool for your users, and that's meetings. Meetings are no longer optional. You can't have, you know, a handful of conference bridges and let people schedule them as needed. In today's workforce where life is, you know, unscripted, unscheduled, and happens, you know, on the fly, you need to be able to arm your users with their own personal conference bridge. And with the Via Cloud Office, they'll have it. You have a full-blown video conferencing solution with, you know, huge capacities. You can have up to 200 parties on a single call, all in high-definition video. But it also gives you the ability to make your meetings um, work more efficiently. And like I said before, take the work out of getting work done. So starting with sharing, you know, I can share my desktop out. But a lot of times when you're on a meeting, somebody will say, hey, can you email me that slide deck or can I get a copy of this slide deck? Well, that's another tool and that's another bit of overhead. What if you could use the same tool that you're currently meeting in to share those files? Well, you can with a via cloud office. What if during the call, somebody couldn't make it? Well, with a via cloud office, you can record the meeting and the recording is distributed in the same tool. So that way if somebody couldn't make it, they can catch up later on. And while you're in a meeting, how many times have you heard somebody say, you know what, I'll have to take that as a takeaway. I don't know that one. I don't know the answer to that question. Well, those tasks never seem to get completed because as soon as everybody leaves the room or disconnects from the bridge, there's no way to track those things. There's no way to follow up on those follow-ups except with a via cloud office because the tool has embedded task management. So while you're on a call, you can be taking the notes, you can be tracking follow-ups, you can record the call for distribution, and the nicest thing is it's all in one easy-to-use tool, and every user has their own personal conference bridge for their usage. Meetings are no longer optional. Now, this solution makes it super easy for your end users. They've got all of the tools that they need, they've got all of the different ways to uh, communicate, and they can do it from no matter what device they happen to be connected to. As long as it's got an internet connection, they're ready to go. But a via cloud office is easy to use, but it's even easier to manage. This system, you manage it via website. It's like logging into your online banking or your cell phone company's website to order the latest iPhone. You simply log in with your user ID and password, and you can make changes to your system. You can change your auto attendant. You can create a hunt group, so this way you can have calls distributed for sales or service or marketing. You can modify uh, different settings like E911 examples, so if you have a different address you're using today. But you can also add users on the fly with a via cloud office. So within seconds, you can add a user with a full DID number, and they can begin making and receiving calls with the soft clients in minutes. Desk phones that are ordered via the uh, management interface are provisioned in the Avaya's distribution centers and shipped to your site for a plug and play deployment. It could not be easier. And just like your users, are on the go using a host of different devices while they're at a bunch of different locations, while those things are connected to many different networks. Administrators face that same challenge. When somebody calls you to add a user or to make a change to the system, how many times do you have to tell people, oh, well, I'll have to do that when I get back to the office. 
oh, I'm not in front of a computer right now. I'll have to do that when I get back. Well, with the Via Cloud Office, you don't have to do that stuff because we realize administrators are on the go using a bunch of different devices, just like users. So all you have to do is open up the mobile app, and as the administrator, you have access to your entire subscription, so you can make any change that you need to on the fly. Now, another challenge that administrators face, and some businesses uh, are a little nervous of when they think about moving to the cloud, is what happens when somebody calls your IT help desk? That dreaded phone call of, hey, I was just on a phone call and I had really bad audio. How do you troubleshoot that, right? The call's over. How, how do I go back in time to find out what went wrong? Well, a lot of times with a lot of cloud solutions, you have to guess. Well, maybe, it, were you using a cell phone? Maybe it was your cell phone. Maybe it was the other party. Maybe they were using a cell phone. With the Via Cloud Office, there's no guesswork. We include a time machine with every single subscription. And that time machine comes in the form of analytics. Every single call that goes through your Avaya Cloud Office system is measured for performance. So we can automatically help you find the needle in a haystack. You can go back in time, find the problem call, and you can start to investigate what the root cause of that issue was. So a lot of times when people say bad audio, the usual suspects are network performance. You know, did you have some packet loss? Did you have some jitter on that phone call? You'll see that. Inside of the metrics, you'll see the upload and the download from each party's call. So you'll be able to find exactly where that was. So if it's the usual suspects, you'll see, oh, you know, your download was uh, missing some packets. Maybe you were on a cell phone connection. You can see that. But sometimes in a world where our phones are our computers or our cell phones or our iPads, the villain of the story isn't the network, it's actually the device itself. So with the Via Cloud Office, we give you visibility not just to the network performance, but also to the device that was used to make that phone call. So you'll see when Bob from Accounts Payable calls in and says, hey, I just had a really bad phone call, and you look at the network performance and it looked fine, You'll look farther and you'll see, Bob, you, it shows that you were using an iPhone 6S to make this phone call while it was connected to Wi-Fi, so that's good. Um, but I also see that the operating system was chewing up all of your processor uh, when that call was going on. Or, Bob, you were using your computer and the memory was spiked out. How many tabs did you have open in Chrome? How old is that computer? Maybe we have to upgrade it. You'll have visibility to troubleshoot everything that goes right or wrong with a call, so this way you're not guessing. You'll know exactly what the issue is, so that way you can fix it, and that way you can um, see what went wrong, so that way when you get that call to the help desk, you're not guessing. And just like the management interface, this does not require you to be in front of your computer. So when the CEO calls up into the help desk, you don't have to go scrambling back to the computer. You open up the app on your cell phone, and you can start digging in there. You can even set up alerts so this way, for those important folks like the CEO, you'll know before they even contact the help desk that he had a bad phone call or that she um, just hung up on two bad calls. You'll know it. You'll know the root cause. So that way, when they call in, you're answering them right away. So uh, analytics are included with the system. You can measure not just call performance, but you can also measure performance. So your call cues, uh, and you can also measure use, usage. So you can see what phone numbers are being used, what applications your users have really embraced. So this way you can understand if maybe you need to retrain certain users in certain apps, or you can really see the value of what you're getting from a Via Cloud Office. Now, another thing that we do with a Via Cloud Office, we include you know, calling and messaging and video conferencing. But sometimes you may have solutions that you already have in place, and maybe they're under contract, and it isn't the most opportune time to you know, cancel those contracts to save a little bit of money. Well, that's not an issue with the Via Cloud Office. You can integrate almost any application that's out on the market today. Talking about messaging applications like Microsoft Teams or Slack, but also non-communication applications like your CRM, Salesforce, Zendesk, ServiceNow, all in there. Maybe you want to integrate Google Drive or Dropbox, or maybe you're a G Suite shop. 
or maybe Office 365 for scheduling. You can integrate pretty much anything that's on the market today. And if you have a homegrown application that already isn't or already doesn't have a pre-built integration, the API kit is absolutely free. So you can integrate it yourself or you can leverage Avaya's professional services team to build that integration for you. So we really have a solution that's super flexible for your users, but also for your administrators to integrate with the world around them and to give them the same uh, mobility functionality that their users demand. And it's also really great for the finance folks. You know, this is the last phone system you'll ever invest in because upgrades are automatically included. No more maintenance contracts to buy, software upgrade plans to purchase. Um, there's little to no upfront capital required. Even right now, we're giving away free phones. So if you don't have the latest phones from Avaya, the J-Series phones, uh, we'll give you free ones when you move over to the system. And if you want to upgrade from the free phones, uh, you can just rent them. You don't have to even buy the phones. You don't have to build to the high watermark. You know, in the old on-premise days, you used to have to buy extra licenses. So if you had 100 employees, you'd have 110 licenses, just so that way you can add a user or two if you need to. Uh, with Via Cloud Office, you only pay for what you use. So if you have 100 users, you pay for 100 users. And when you add that 101st, you just add a user to your account, and it'll just start billing from that point on. So it gives you more agility, it gives you um, less upfront capital required, and like I mentioned, because of the, the included audio, video, and messaging tools, a lot of customers have reported that they've saved a ton of money um, by leveraging a via cloud office because they've canceled accounts with like a WebEx or a Zoom or a Slack because the tools are all bundled in here. So why pay twice for it, right? And then what makes this solution truly unique um, is the fact that we are taking our most popular features from the Avaya phone system world, the communication manager, the IP office, the CS1000, we're bringing those to the Ring Central platform. So you'll have a consistent experience when you move from your on-premise system to the cloud. We also have our pro services team. So our folks support this solution. And what that means for you as a customer is when you go through your evaluation, when you choose a via cloud, you get ready to go to go live. And then after go live, we offer one hand to shake service. Even though this is a ring central platform underneath, it's an Avaya product in its entirety. So we support it. So everything prior to purchase, we will help you evaluate. We'll show you the solution. We'll give you a demo account. We'll help you with proof of concept. Once you choose the solution, our client success team will project management, uh, project manage the go live. They'll help you with porting your numbers to the cloud and they'll help you with migrating your data from on-premise to the cloud. And that's extremely valuable because these folks speak Avaya as a first language. And what that means is they're not gonna be asking you, well, what happens when you press that button? Uh, what does that feature do? Uh, why is this call flow built this way? We don't have to ask you that stuff. We know how that stuff works. And what that does for you as a customer is it minimizes, if not eliminates, the business risk of shifting from on-premise to cloud. And then after, you're live with Avaya Cloud Office, you'll realize that there are a whole host of other things that you can do in the cloud. Contact center. Maybe you wanna set up emergency alerts so this way you can notify your users and your customers about announcements or emergencies. Well, Avaya Cloud Notification System does that. We have a whole host of cloud-based services that you can add to your Avaya Cloud Office account that give you more functionality, that give you more business value without giving you the multi-vendor headache. Because it all comes through one developer, Avaya, and it, because it's all supported by our client support team, whenever you have any issue with any service, you simply contact our North American-based contact center. We will troubleshoot that issue for you, and we will take care of it from beginning to end. And that's really what makes this solution so unique, is that you're getting the best of two leading vendors in the market. You know, with uh, the unified communications platform that Ring Central has developed, it's a very, very feature rich platform that's globally available, highly scalable, and it never goes down. They guarantee an SLA of five nines uptime. Um, they've got an active, active infrastructure with I believe it's nine data centers around the world and then 32 more points of presence. And then we build on top of that 
Avaya brings to the table our functionality from our um, on-premise PBXs. We're bringing our latest devices to the platform as well, the J-Series desk phones, our B-Series conference phones, and our all-new CU360 video conferencing device. And we pair that with our services team that really creates a unique solution for our customers, not just the starting point with a unified communications phone system in the cloud, but also as you continue to grow and your needs continue to change, Avaya is there for you all the way. And that's really what makes this solution so unique. It's, a, it's the best of both worlds. It's really a solution like nothing that's come before in the market. So with that, I'm gonna stop talking and I will see if there are any questions I may be able to answer. Sounds good, Steve. I have a couple of questions came in. You touched on some of these already, but just to clarify, the Ring Central partnership you mentioned, um, the question here was, did Ring Central purchase Avaya? Not, but Great question. The answer is no. Um, you know, so this is a partnership. So we are working together. We are two separate companies, um, but for this particular product, we're working together to create something that really hasn't been seen in the market before. You get the best of Ring Central and you get the best of what Avaya has brought to the table as well. You actually have two uh, companies developing for you. Makes sense. And I guess following up on this question, the, um, what is the difference between Avaya Cloud Office and Ring Central Office Standard Edition? Great question. So um, put simply in kind of a 280 character tweet, with Avaya Cloud Office, you get everything that Ring Central has, the same price, but more functionality. So a little bit more, to expand it a little bit more, think of it like a five layer piece of cake. So the base layer of, of Avaya Cloud Office is Ring Central's platform and specifically the product Ring Central Office. So everything that you get with Ring Central, you get with Avaya Cloud Office. That's the starting point. Um, the second layer of the cake is our devices. So we're bringing the J series phones, the B series conference phones and the CU360 to their platform. And the reason why we're doing that is twofold. One, um, for customers that already own those devices, we want to provide investment protection. So you can reuse them. You simply uh, push a software update from the cloud in a matter of you know, five minutes or so, that phone will be ready to go with ACO. But then secondarily, the reason why we're supporting those devices exclusively with Avaya Cloud Office is because of the third layer of the cake. So you've got the plat Ring Central platform, you've got Avaya devices, the third layer is our features. So we are bringing uh, features that our customers depend on, you know, bridged appearances, call park and page, visual voicemail on the desk phone, and a whole host of other functionality um, that's typically been missing in all cloud platforms, not just our partners at Ring, but any cloud platform doesn't really have bridged appearances, for example. Um, we're bringing those over to the platform. They'll be exclusive to the Avaya devices. So you need Avaya phones in order to use this. So layer three is features and functions. Uh, layer four is migrations. So we've created a migration toolkit that'll allow an Avaya customer to take a backup of their system, upload it to the toolkit, and then it'll be imported into uh, your ACO account. And that's exclusive to ACO specifically. So migrations is layer four. Um, and the promo, the free phone promo. Uh, and then layer five, like I mentioned, is our services team. So specifically with Avaya Cloud Office, you're getting Ring Central service, their platform down on layer one, but you don't have to uh, queue up out front waiting for somebody to talk to somebody in their services team. You don't get kicked over to a call center overseas. Uh, if you have any issues with this solution, you contact us, um, we will troubleshoot it for you. Nine out of 10 calls we can resol uh, resolve because it's usually a localized issue. But if something does need to be escalated, uh, we do that on your behalf using our concierge team at Ring. So you actually get better service um, by going with us. And way back to the beginning, the best part of this is it's the exact same price as buying Ring Central Office standard. Um, as a part of our partnership, we've agreed to a pricing parity program. So our price is their price, their price is our price. Uh, they're priced exactly the same. So that would be kind of the, the long form version of what makes this solution different than Ring. That was good, Steve. I think that answered about three other questions I had as well. So thank you for that. <laughs> oh, no problem. Feel free yeah. to keep the questions coming through the Q&A. Um, can, is there any plans for the 9600 series phones to be working yeah. the system? 
That's a great question. Uh, you know, in the movie Avengers Endgame, Tony Stark said part of the journey is the end. Um, those devices have been on a very long journey. Uh, they've been in market for probably close to 10, 12 years now, and they've been workhorses. They're reliable as all get out. Um, the, the problem, though, is we've squeezed every last ounce of juice from the hardware on those devices. We can't um, really innovate with them anymore. And then secondarily, a lot of those devices have worn out speakers and microphones. So even though they quote unquote work, um, we don't want people to have a bad experience when they move to uh, a via cloud office. So that's why we're only supporting the J series phones, but that's also why we're offering free phones when you move because we realize that there are so many of those devices in market and we wanna provide investment protection. So what we've done is we've basically said, let's just take the hardware off the table. So if you move to a via cloud office, we'll give you a free J series phone. Um, so this way you don't have to try and use the old devices with the new service. Makes sense. Um, is there an option to deploy a hybrid solution? Keep my existing IP 500. Not currently, and here's why. Um, bandwidth has become so plentiful, but also so affordable. Most customers are looking at, or if you don't have two network links, it's more um, strategic to invest in that versus to invest in keeping that you know, gateway there just in case, and here's why. So if you have two internet links and both of them fail at the site, chances are, all service to that office is offline. You know, the, the type of thing that's gonna knock down two internet links would be somebody hitting a telephone pole out front or uh, a fire in a manhole, for example. And it's gonna, it's gonna knock out all service to the building. So a hybrid solution would basically just act as an intercom system. There's nothing wrong with that. Certain businesses and intercom still valuable. We don't have that on the roadmap. So what we recommend to customers is instead, if you, if you don't have two internet links, invest there, put in a second internet link um, so that way, in case one fails, your phones will automatically reroute over the second one. Um, we just need an internet connection. We don't care where it is or what type. And to that end, a lot of our customers either use as a backup or as a third layer of uh, disaster recovery, they're mobile. So if, if the office, say your office loses power, um, you can open up the app on your cell phones and your tablets and you're back in business in a matter of minutes. So as long as you have internet connectivity, your system is up and running. Um, so we've, we've kind of gone that route with the hybrid. We don't really see um, a lot of customers interested in that. They're move, looking more towards a, a cloud-based solution to try and get the equipment off of uh, the campus. Makes sense. Uh, does the same application that controls my desk phone control my cell phone? Um, how many lifelines do I get? I think I need to, I need to ask a little bit. Can you uh, give us a little bit more details? So, I mean, just broadly, and if I'm, if I misstate the answer, please just be submit the question. Um, it's the same app on your computer, your cell phone, and your tablet. It looks the same. It functions the same. Um, it's available for Windows and uh, Macintosh, iOS, or Android. Um, it gives you all the capabilities right from your computer. So like right now, my computer is my phone um, when I'm at home. Right, I think, I think that answered it. Um, you touched on the support earlier. Um, interesting question. The support I get from my current voice over IP provider is terrible. Will it be any, it be any better with Avaya? <laughs> yes. I think you answered that. <laughs> yes, uh, it'll be better. The follow-up from that was, is it is the support overseas, which I think you also mentioned, but maybe... Based in North America. Modify that. Okay, good. Yep, we have resources in both U.S. and Canada. That's why I can't say U.S. It's North America. Got it. There's a couple more here. Um, you mentioned third-party integrations. Is there a cost for those integrations? Um, there's not a cost per se. There are some integrations that do require a certain level of subscription. So at Avaya, with Avaya Cloud Office uh, and frankly Ring Central Office, there are standard premium and ultimate tiers. Uh, some of the integrations specifically for CRM require you to be on the uh, premium or above tier, but there's no per integration cost or anything. So as long as you're on say the premium tier, you can integrate one, five, 500 different apps you know, whatever you choose. Okay, and on those tiers, um, 
can they be mixed and matched? Can you have different Not users currently. Different tiers? Okay. Not currently. But to that point, what we can do, um, so work with your team at DataVox, work with your VIA account managers. Um, we can potentially, for lack of a better term, customize some of the bundles. So if, you know, if there's only one feature that you need in premium, mm -hmm. we can potentially bring that down to a standard account. Um, so that way you're not upgrading everybody in the organization for a single feature. So work with your account teams on that, um, but it isn't mix and match currently. And what are the available contract plans? <clears throat> Uh, three and five year. And I, do we have a one year contract, Chris? I don't know if we have a one year or not. Sir, we can't do a one year. We can also do annual prepays. They yeah. Most of different contracts we can do that are out there. Right. Yeah. So we have one, three, and five year. We're getting near the end here, guys. Unless um, anyone in the audience has any last minute questions they'd like to post through the chat. Um. This basic question you know, about call reporting, does the system include standard call reporting? It does. It actually includes the full analytics package. So you'll be able to measure um, call reporting. So your traditional call accounting plus uh, some reports on your hunt groups. So you can actually, and that's all free of cost. Uh, it includes your call quality reports um, and it includes your utilization reports. What is available at an extra cost with a via cloud office, if you want to do real time, like have a real time dashboard, um, that carries with it an additional monthly cost. But the historical reports, um, all that's included at no extra cost. Sounds good. What about a true contact center? I guess that will be additional cost. Yeah, we have a true contact center. So Avaya has our um, Avaya Cloud Contact Center service. Like I said, that's just another module from us that you can add to your account. It gives you the ability to let your customers communicate with you via voice, email, uh, chat, SMS, so text messaging. Um, so all those, all those channels funnel into your customer service organization or your sales organization, and the, um, your agents just log into a web page. It's all uh, browser-based. Uh, so they can use any computer to start communicating with your customers. And while you're on the phone with a customer, we actually have an AI uh, solution in there that will listen and transcribe the call in real time. So if it finds a question that somebody asks, uh, instead of the agent having to listen, digest it, and then go research trying to find the answer, it actually will suggest to the agent, hey, this might be the answer you're looking for. So it cuts down on the amount of time that gets wasted on those calls. It also listens for uh, keywords and phrases. So if uh, you know there's a call that's going wrong, instead of a supervisor listening to it days, weeks, or months later in a recording, um, they're notified in real time. So they can be brought to that call. You know, you tell your customers you monitor the calls for quality. Why is it nobody ever seems to be there when a problem call happens, right? You will with this. Um, so it notifies the supervisor, hey, this this agent needs help right now jump on this call uh, and they jump on and then at the end of the call um, you know instead of the agent typing out war and peace you know typing out the what happened on this call in the customer relationship manager and that takes time um, the transcript can actually be put into your crm and the agent just types something that looks more like a tweet they get back into queue so you can actually lower uh, your wait times by leveraging a via cloud contact center so it's a great solution it's available only from us but the nice part is when you add it to um, our cloud office solution, you, you don't have the multi-vendor headaches and you get one hand to shake for service. So if you have a problem with your contact center, you call Avaya. If you have a problem with office, you call Avaya. Everything comes through us. That's great, Steve, thank you. Um, I don't see any more questions at the moment, but um, if there's no more questions, I appreciate your time, Steve. It was very informative, very exciting new product from Avaya and Ring Central. So, no problem. You, Thank you for having me, Chris. I don't. Know, I know you wanted to maybe mention a little bit about the, the giveaway you, you're offering to the participants here, or chance to win. Yeah, most definitely. I mean, I really appreciate everybody jumping on. I hope they learned a lot today, and if there is any opportunity, they understand the right process to engage with the team and work towards closure on that from a giveaway perspective. I am very excited. 
working with the team on the back end of this to figure out who wins a $300 gift card to a pair of Jacoba boots. Some of my favorites. So I hope that's not the only reason you guys attended, but, you know, if it is, boots your boots. I'm not originally from Texas, Chris, as you as you know, but have, are those boots any good? Or? I like the Dakota boots. Most yeah. definitely. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate that. Thanks. Well, if there's nothing else, I will hand back to Jessica to close up for us. Thank you, guys. Thank you, David. Uh, we want to thank you all for joining today's webinar. As a reminder, the recording link for today's session will be emailed to all attendees 24 to 48 hours post-event. And uh, we will be contacting the winner of the Tacova's booth um, shortly after this event. So keep your fingers crossed. If you enjoyed today's session and would like to hear more, we do offer new webinars weekly. Please check our DataVox website for more information on the upcoming sessions. And as always, we would love to hear your feedback on our events. Once this webinar has ended, you will be redirected to a survey page. If you could please take a moment to complete the survey before closing out your browser, we would greatly appreciate it. That concludes our session for today. Thank you again to Steve and the Avaya team for a great presentation, and thank you all for joining us. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you all.